So here in Acts 2, verses 37 and 38, it says, But when the, when the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and, and said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what must we do to be uh, what, what shall shall we do? And Peter replied, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus for the, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Listen, verse 37 says, when the, when the people, when the people heard, heard this, they were cut to the heart. It, it's interesting and scary. It's scary to listen to some people explain um, their salvation. Um, listen to them try to explain that they are saved, that they do have um, a relationship with Jesus. I'm not trying to say that, that they don't, but I am saying Somewhere along the way, there needs to be a clear explanation of repentance in your life. You, you, can't, you can't be. I mean, the clearest indication of a person who is saved is that their life is changed. So if you say that you've been saved for 10, 15, 20 years or whatever, you know, even three, four, five, seven years, and there's no hint of humility, there's no hint of a of a changed life you still arrogant your 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 life is your tongue is not changed the things that come out of your mouth is is no is not changed um there is there's real um uh, a, a hard conversation to have that that maybe you're not saved i mean jesus said that um Many are going to say unto me in that, in that day, Lord, didn't we do this? And didn't we do that? Depart from me. I didn't know you. I mean, so there's a, there's a possibility. I mean, think of that, that there is a possibility that you, you could be deceived. I mean, if that's a real possibility, I mean, wouldn't you want to know? I mean, Jesus said, I, I, I came for the sick. Come on, man. He said, I came for the sick. And those who are sick know it. And, and so, wouldn't you want to know for sure if there's, if you've faked yourself out? Surely you would. Surely you would want to examine yourself to see if you're in Christ, the scripture says. I mean, there's, there's plenty of precedent in God's word for this conversation and for me to ask these questions. And so it says in verse 37, when the people heard this, they were cut to the heart. And, I, and I'm just wondering, you know, how many people, you know, say that they know Christ, but their heart still loves their self. Their heart still loves their, their sin, and they've learned how to justify and rationalize um, their sin of choice. And there's really no fruit of the Spirit. You erase the, the line in the sand and rewritten it, redrawn the line in order to gratify your desires and gratify attitudes. It's a scary thing to consider. You know, verse 38, you know, Peter says, repent. I mean, uh, there's a lot of people who are convinced that they're really good. And so you say repent and they say repent of what? what what's there to repent of? I'm a good person. Scary position, to, a scary place to find yourself is not being interested in clarifying and having this discussion and considering that maybe there is a possibility that I've deceived myself. A scary place to find yourself.